Maria, if you uh, look at a, a market town in the countries that a lot of immigrants to this area come from, you don't see one out of three people, one out of four people with a serious weight problem. What happens when they get here? Oh, a lot of things. I think some of her has been mentioned, but I think is, um, you know, our neighborhoods that our community lives in, Ray, are very unsafe, okay? So children really can't get out and families can't get out. We tell them, you know, take a walk at night and they look at us with, you know, four eyes. Are you kidding? <laughs> I wouldn't come out of my door at that late at night. Um, the, the other is that, um, you know, it's, it's, um, um, there's the unsafetyness, there's the, the, we're on TV too long, you know? We're watching TV too long, so what, what, what we just said, we're seeing uh, the, the terrible foods that, that are uh, advertised. Um, we're also having families that are just extremely, extremely working two and three jobs. So the kids are picking up whatever they can after school. Um, parents just really don't have the time to cook. And what we're seeing a lot in, in our communities is people with the housing issue is doubling up, tripling up in housing where there is no cooking facilities. So, you know, you're, you're picking up every morning McDonald's for breakfast, you know, and picking up whatever you can on the way from, from work. So those, those things are really, and in addition to the schools, not having the, the right foods. And, and now, you know, I, I have to say, though, that, that, that the uh, First Lady's uh, uh, Let's Move campaign has really made an impact on our communities. We see it at the center. People want to see, want to look like Michelle. They want to see what is it that, that, that is being done that, um, that would make a difference in a way because they're, they're, um, they're really seeing the uh, obesity and how that is affecting them and their mental health um, and how that's affecting the way they are being treated in the workplace and the schools. Obesity is also growing rapidly in Mexico, in Puerto Rico. You see it now much more often than you did in generations past. So people are coming to this country from places like that already with a weight problem. And because, you know, all this, all this uh, stores, all this McDonald's and all this people, you know, all that has moved out down south and in all the countries. I mean, any Latin American country you go, you see all the stores. And, and, it's, and it is, you know, interestingly though, it's, it's not as cheap back home. McDonald's is not as cheap back home. But, uh, but I think, you know, people, um, you know, the back and forth of moving of migration has really uh, migrated, unfortunately, from eating the donuts instead of eating the rice and beans. Well, you made a change in your life, and we keep hearing as part of these discussions how hard it is. Well, let's start off there. Is it hard? Well, you know what? I believe in small, simple changes. And I started with five minutes of exercise a week. And I started adding on, and then I added 10, and I added 15, and I got my family involved. And eventually, I even would walk around the perimeter of my small little home if it was raining or snowing, or put a tape in, even doing we. I mean, fun things. If you make it fun, it's, it's just really doable and easy. So what happened was I kept adding on and doing and more and more and more. And finally, I did a 5K, and I did it with my son and I got my family involved and I started shopping at the perimeter of the grocery store where the colorful live foods are as opposed to the middle where the processed foods are. And I started cooking actually because before I was one of these mothers that we had all kinds of activities and we were busy and I was working and I didn't have time and I was driving through to all these various fast food places. And then I decided, you know what? I'll take a little more time and I'll start packing the food in a bag and I'll start taking it with me and giving it to my family and being that role model because we can talk all we want but we have to be the role model for our children. Was there a triggering event? Was there a, a mirror moment uh, or something where you finally said, I have to start making these changes and I really have to start making them now? You know what, Ray? Absolutely. Um, I have a family tradition in my family and it's heart disease and stroke and almost everyone has died in my family of those diseases and I'm actually up next. And when my father died, I became very depressed and I started eating uncontrollably. I actually was digging my grave with a knife and a fork. And the only exercise I was actually getting then was going from my living room to my kitchen to get those unhealthy snacks that I was eating. And I had high blood pressure and high cholesterol. I had type two diabetes. And just to go back, I was an overweight child, so I set the stage for myself then. 
okay, I had the diabetes, I had the high cholesterol, I had um, high blood pressure, I had asthma, I had um, um, also sleep apnea. And my daughter would come into my room in the middle of the night to see if I was still breathing. And she would cry and she would plead with me to change my unhealthy lifestyle. And it was at that moment I knew that I had to make a change. Baby steps don't get you very far. I mean, if you eat well at breakfast and lunch and then badly at dinner, um, don't you sort of negate every being good all day? If you consume 2,000 calories at dinner, don't you have to really start to look at your life in its totality when you decide to make these changes? Well, let me tell you what my breakfast used to be. I used to have, honestly, and it is embarrassing, but potato chips, cookies, and cherry coke. And my daughter said I was the only mother on the face of the earth that would drink a cherry coke for breakfast. And I assured her there were a couple others around. But I want to tell you that each day I would say to myself, what did I want to cut out? So I kept cutting out less and less of the chips until the point where it was manageable and it was doable. Because we didn't get there overnight. And, we, and it's easier when you take the small, simple changes. The Heart Association recommends starting small and just steady and through those small, simple changes, I felt empowered and I was able to do more and more and kept adding on to the empowerment.